these are nice to have to give you some guidelines on different types of eyebrows to sculpt. So that's what we're going to be doing. Oops. Take that toothpick and pick the sharpest end of it and keep picking through the box if you need to till you find a nice sharp one. And then I'm just going to gently sculpt. And keep cleaning that tip off on that clean cloth that's in my lap. See how I'm bringing that dragging that out and some of the um, leftover that's on my toothpick is actually coming up here higher into the brow where it's going to be a finer hair here. It's going to be a thicker hair here. Now eyebrows almost always go directly towards the ear. They really don't go straight up like this, like we tend to always start out doing. They really curve and go towards the ear. I'm not worried about um, ending up with scraping all my varnish off because I've got a lot of varnish on there. And what I want are very fine hairs, but I want lots of them. Probably what I'm going to do with Trinity is bake this layer when I'm happy with it and then add some more finer hairs farther up here into the brow and under here on the eyelid. It'll be very fine there. And then later when I'm painting him I will paint even more texture into his eyebrows. I'm going to go the opposite way this time and drag some of the, this varnish up. And that's what we have so far. So then I'm going to flip that around to whichever way is comfortable. Oops, I got a little hair on there. I still have a little hair on there. And then I'm going to sculpt this side as well. Hmm, I must have touched that. That's not normal. Looks like some of my varnish is gone. It's okay, I can add more. On this end here, I definitely touched it. Maybe when I was showing that guide. I'm just going to grab my brush. I really like to bring it out this way. the very best way to create baby lashes is to look at real babies. You know, study them. Take pictures. Grab pictures off of the internet. You can find all kinds of pictures on the internet. And if you are on the wrong foot and not getting the results that you want, you can remove this varnish before you bake it and just start all over again.
legs and lifts up this way. Okay, I'm thinking it looks pretty, pretty similar. So I'm going to go ahead and bake this. Now to bake this in, I've got the oven set at 275 degrees. Um, I live in a dry climate, so 275 degrees seems to work really well with my oven. Uh, a lot of people bake at 265 degrees, so just do some tests with your oven and your varnishes and just find out what works best for you. There's always a little room to fudge in the creation of a reborn doll and different things that work for you. So be brave, be creative. Let's get him baked. Alright, I'm in the kitchen now. I've got Trinity on a tray. It's just a regular um, baking tray. Just like this. And I put a receiving blanket, folded it up and placed it on top of the tray. And I've got a white bassinet sheet that's um, supporting his head for me. His head doesn't stand very well. Uh, what I've done is I've done a few touch-ups to his varnish, his satin varnish areas that I found um, that were lacking a little bit, like on the tips of his ears here. So I've recoated those and that's why I have his head supported the way that I do because his first baking, I want to make sure that the heat gets around to the back of his ears. So I have my oven set 275 degrees. And inside, I have a dirty oven for one thing. Um, oh, there it is. I've got two heat gauge thermometers in there, and they're both running about, looks like, 250 degrees. So my oven hasn't really quite reached the temperature, although it's been on for quite a while. But now that I've opened the door, it will probably um, catch up. So. I'm going to take Trinity carefully because he's a little bit wobbly on that tray. As I am wobbly as I try to hold the camera here. And I'm going to place him on the lower rack of my oven. Right in the middle. Just like that. And then I'm going to shut the door. And I am going to 